No storm lasts forever. So whatever you're going through, it's not here to stay. It is not here to stay. That means that loneliness that you're feeling, not here to stay. That breakup that you're going through, not here to stay. All, everything you are being with right now, listen to me, it's gonna be okay. But there's something very important. There's a very, very important key to all of this. And that is that you allow yourself to experience fully what it is that's up for you. So if you're in the space of anger, I am challenging you to sit in that, to experience anger. If you're in the space of shame, experience shame. You, it's so important that you don't hurry up and try to fix it. It's so important that you don't hurry up and try to get out of what's present for you. You see, what we resist persist. And in this lifetime, whatever is here is what we co-created with the Creator. So if I'm in resistance to, let's say, anger, then all I'm going to do is have it persist in my life. It's going to come back in many different forms and fashions. So how you beat that is you get present to what is and you experience your experience. And then and only then do you look for the lessons, do you look for the beauty, do you look for the magic, do you look for all of the stuff that's within this so-called storm, within this so-called disaster. Because for me, sometimes, a lot of times, my greatest pain caused my greatest gain. So out of the stuff that I, that I didn't want to be in, but when I let myself go there and see what I created is where all the magic happens. So I'm gonna give you a metaphor and I want you to think about this for your life. Let's say you're driving on a sunny day up in the mountains and the way the, the, the road is windy and you find yourself looking off at the scenery in the distance. And before you could catch it, your car goes off the side of the road and you're flying through the air. So what do you do? Most people, most people, myself included, before I got these distinctions, would clinch. You know, ah, I'm about to, uh, I'm about to fall, I'm about to die. Ah, you're, we're projecting, we're looking forward to the impact, the disaster. My challenge to you is to get present to what is, to enjoy the ride. You see, one perspective says, oh crap, I'm falling. Ah, I better protect myself, right? Metaphor. Something's happening, I better clinch, I better protect myself. Another perspective says, and this is the one I'm challenging you to, is let me enjoy the ride. Let me be present to what is, because I have no clue what the future holds. I could land and bounce and keep going. Or I could land and get a little hurt. But you don't know what you don't know. So don't project, don't clinch up. You know, they say that alcoholics, drunk drivers, when they get in accidents, they're less likely to be hurt why? Because they're so inebriated that they don't clinch when the accident happens. That's how we get hurt, is trying to hold on too tight. Listen to me, the beauty, the beauty of a storm is, is that the storm comes through and clears out everything that is not rooted with a strong foundation. I'm going to say that again, a storm comes through and clears out everything that is not rooted with a strong foundation. So that means that you get to honor what's up for you while understanding that if the storm came through and took that thing called the man you're crying over away, or uh, the storm came through and took that thing uh, called your job away, or the storm came through and took a thing called my grandfather died, whatever it is, it was not supposed to be, because if it was, it would. If it was, it would. Listen to me. Whatever you're going through, whatever you are feeling right now, it's gonna be okay. It is not here to stay. Get present to what is, experience your experience, look for the magic, and know that everything that is not rooted in love and peace and harmony and joy, that is not rooted in the truth of who you be, will not be here to stay. I love you guys so much. My name is Preston Smiles. If you're new to the family, go ahead and click subscribe. If you're not new, Either way, please tag some friends and share this message. It's going down in a beautiful major way. The people who are always inviting drama walk around with their naive caps on and they're like, oh, I don't know what happened, it just happened. No, you're not paying attention. 
That's what's happening. You're not paying attention.